the cool gadget for Nintendo Switch is finally out. I've been waiting for this game to come out ever since it was announced all the way back in November and I'm happy to finally have my hands on it. So today I'm going to be keeping things relatively simple. I'm just going to be going through the game for the first time and I'm just going to be trying out some of the features and all that stuff. I'd rather play around with the game for a week or so just to get familiar with it before making a full on beat making video. But yeah anyway let's go ahead and boot up the game and see what the cool gadget for Nintendo Switch is all about. Okay, so it looks like we've got a choice of synthesizers and stuff like that. So these actually look pretty cool. There's quite a lot of them. Maybe we'll just start off with this drum sequencer. So at the moment, it's looking a lot like Ableton Session View. So it should be pretty easy to figure out. Oh, yeah. Let's put in a snare. That actually sounds pretty cool. Maybe we'll put a clap in as well. Let's have a listen to that. That actually sounds pretty good. So I'm going to go through and check out the different drum banks, see what sort of sounds I have. <laughs> oh yeah. Damn, beefy is crazy. <laughs> New ham, I like that one. So this actually has some pretty crazy drum kits. I'm actually really shocked with how good they sound. So now that I've had a look at some of them, I might just go back to the first one. And now I'm just going to go through and change up some of the parameters, see what kind of things you can do. So you can change the pitch of the drums, what else can you do? So we've got this thing here, which is like a transient shaper. We've got a little bass boost. And you can also go through and change all the levels and stuff like that. It's actually pretty impressive. So now that I've had a quick look through the drum kit, I'm going to try out some of the synthesizers, see what kind of things they have. I might just check out this one here first. Okay, we've got a nice little C minor chord in there. Let's go and check out some of the presets. This actually looks a little bit like Nexus. So you can also change all the envelope and stuff, which is nice. Turn it into a little stab. Put on some effects, or maybe we'll go for a delay. Oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> so there's this little keyboard down here, which you can set to a scale. That's pretty good. I wonder how many presets this synthesizer has. Whoa, 128, that's not too bad. I've loaded in this synthesizer here. Apparently it's a chip synthesizer. Haha, <laughs> cool. Oh, this one here, you can actually go through and change a lot of parameters. What does the jump button do? This is actually pretty cool. Let's test out some of the other presets. <laughs> nice. Okay, which one should I take a look at next? Oh, a semi-modular synthesizer. Whoa, this is actually really cool. Whoa, we even have a patch bay. Nice. I definitely know that I'm going to waste a whole lot of time making sounds with this synthesizer. That's really nice. Let's try out another one. So what kind of sounds are we looking at? Ah, oh, yes, we have a yoi. It's been a long time since I've heard a yoi. Bring back the yoi. Let's have a look at Amsterdam. This one looks a little bit different. Okay, so this seems like a effects module. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm sure that synthesizer will come in handy someday. What is Tokyo? Ah, so these ones here must be analog drums. I'm not really liking the sound of any of these ones. I think I'll stick to more of the sample based drums. It will definitely be fun to play around with these, but I don't know if I actually use them in a song that often. Okay, let's take a look at Wolfsburg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's enough of that synthesizer. I'm really surprised by the sound so far in this game. It's got some really nice sounding synthesizers. In fact, they're a lot better than anything that you'd find in like Ableton or anything like that. So I'm going to check out the automation, see what kind of things you can do. I think it's this button here. This automation is actually really quite in depth. There's a lot of stuff that you can change. So 
there we go. That was my first look at Core Gadget for Nintendo Switch. It might not seem like it because of how I edited the video, but I actually spent around an hour and a half playing the game just now. I'm actually really blown away with how good this game is. All of the synthesizers actually sound really good, especially when you compare them to something like FL Studio or Ableton Live. Now, I haven't played with the Core Gadget on any other platforms, which is probably why I'm so impressed with it. I was actually going to pick up the Core Gadget for my phone, but once I heard that a Nintendo Switch version was coming out, I thought I'd just wait for that instead. I'm sure the phone version would be perfectly fine, but I'd rather have some sort of physical input instead of just being all touch based. I'm going to be doing a few more videos using this game, and I'll make sure to do a real beat making video once I figure out how everything works. And I'll definitely be doing a video using the four player mode, which I know will be a complete disaster, but it should still be a whole lot of fun. But yeah, anyway, make sure to keep an eye out for the future core gadget videos that I have coming out, and yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.